Hello everyone, we're back with some more Ark Nova replay analysis. We have two very high level games today, going to look at the current top three players in Arena uh, in two games. The first game we're going to look at is current Arena leader Song Chen, who has a very sizable lead at the moment actually. Uh, it's going to be very hard for anyone to catch Song Chen because the win rate, the win rate required to climb over 2100 is pretty insane. There's still enough time for someone to do it, but there's a lot of pressure uh, having to climb that high. So I think Song Chen is in pole position to win this current arena season. We're going to look at one of his games first after we set up the chat. Hello everyone that's already here. I think the, the current gap of about 70 points is pretty sizable. Like, and the competition each season keeps improving. I know last last season Dwarven Time got to like 2150 at some stage. But like the amount of luck the amount of luck and skill required to go on a run that big is is very impressive. I, I'm not sure we're gonna see 2150 again. So starting off from Song Chen's perspective, we are on ice cream parlors. The projects are Asia, Habitats, and Reptiles. End goals are Naturalist and Climbing. Naturalist on this map specifically is quite... I don't know. I, I, would, I think I never pick Naturalist on Ice Cream Parlors because you're just encouraged to fill up the map and you get these extra buildings for free. So Climbing Park's not great either. Uh, we at least do start with one rock, which is a Reptile and... a uh, the habitat doesn't matter for this, but the reptile's nice. So I see that being picked for sure. I think given that there's nothing else super amazing, eagle is a nice pick here as well. I do like expert in large, maybe also the small bird to make the reptile playable, but then we also have a, a European reptile here. I'm not sure, something like that, maybe even this, but I do like starting with one sponsor at least. It is just going to be the four animals. How is the BGA sound for everyone, by the way? Uh, let me know if it's too loud and I'll lower it. We are first player here. I do know the first move of this match. I think it's, a, it's an interesting one, right? We have two sponsors that give different continent icons. Europe being slightly rare, but we already have the European grass snake. So my immediate thought was Expert on the Americas, but Expert on Europe gives great value because we have two size 1 animals here. So it gives you the two enclosures for free. And early game, that's a lot of tempo because it takes a whole build action to build one of them. So I do like the first move here of snapping up Expert on Europe. And with sponsors at 5, it's now playable next move. Uh, don't mind the cards not refreshing there. Flying Muskrat, the opponent, starts with Expert on Asia. <laughs> Pretty damn good start, seeing as uh, it is a continent and Asia is one of the projects. I mean, I think the ideal card. Well, that's the thing about Expert on the Americas on this map. Yeah, you might not need the extra Chaos, but it means the end game is just, like, always completed, so... It, it guarantee, like guarantees you the end game point as well. Plus the kiosks do give you more income overall. It's just, yeah, it is hard to place them all. I still think it's it's very decent on this map. Kiosk goes over the draw a card and just draws from deck. We do have uh, Song Chen starting with the Asia partner zoo. Maybe, well, there's a, there's a few reasons just for the different continent to deny like a very easy two Asia in case Flying Muskrat doesn't have an, an, an Asian animal in hand. Now they do build a size two, pretty nice placements here. This is just the expert on Europe coming down. Would also be tempting to break five because 
the opponent building before associating kind of signals there is an Asian animal coming out. But at the same time, we have a lot of things to do as well. It is the Hornbill. So yeah, we're gonna have two Asia in round one. And now, now the problem is sponsors is at one here. So there's not gonna be a break for a long time. First move is just going to be the European Grass Snake coming down. Also, kind of interesting size one placement. I would have immediately just gone next to the, like, cover the kiosk. I guess it won't matter too much with the Bird of Paradise coming down. I guess this... They're, they both cover four, so it's not a huge difference. I'm just kind of curious of the, the reasoning why they're not on the kiosk. I think with species or habitats, I would very rarely go for the minimum unless my unless I know my opponent like has it in hand. Otherwise, I think it's always worth fighting for. Like, even if you're still fighting, you might make them spend some X tokens to grab it before you. I don't really like conceding on the, the lower rank. But I mean, there, there's all, there's situation there's uh, situations for everything though. So it's going to be Asia two into five income and upgrading build. I don't mind the upgrading build. Five incomes interesting as well because we already have this this kiosk spot is already pretty good. So like the income was at 15, now it's at 20. It does seem like a bit overkill. I think snapping might have been, oh, especially now that we see that the ad is in folder six. I think snapping might have been more tempting with like two very good cards on display here. Expert on the Americas does get snapped up by us. Yeah, I'm looking at this adder. Because Reptiles is a project and Hypnosis is just very strong overall. We do have a build 3 action which could indicate, well, most likely indicates that another animal is coming out. Still have 12 money. Over here, we do have the Lesser Bird of Paradise coming out. Okay, so with Expert on the Americas, we're actually at 4 habitat icons. Oh, the chaos actually goes down here as well. Hmm. This is interesting. See, I was thinking like size one over here, kiosk here, pavilion up here. I have a build one action from the opponent. Just to cover this last kiosk, I'm not a huge fan when build is upgraded. Uh, it signals that there's no sponsors on the other on the other side. Okay, yes, it's to leave room for the kiosk for from expert on the Americas. All right, that's very fair then. I was going to say, from Flying Muskrat's perspective, they know that Song Chen has expert on the Americas that wants to come down in round one anyway. So, like, I don't mind drawing cards for them. The fact that they don't snap up the adder and draw from the deck means I guess they're looking for a sponsor or they're not happy with their hand because they don't have hand size uni. This is just going to be a cards three action. There's not really much else to do. We do get to keep one of the cards. Foreign Institute, not as bad because like we already have all the continents basically. The Eagle Owl, not very playable at the moment. Okay, we do have the Agama coming out. Very nice to sunbathe while there is some extra cards. So yes, of course, that's another reason to draw from the deck. Now we just have break. Yeah, it's break two to cause the break. So currently income 23 to 16. Uh, we do have an advantage, nearly guaranteed to win the race for habitats here. Also a Fennec Fox appearing is nice. 
means that Flying Muskrat can't like deny the Africa part in a zoo. It wouldn't be that good for them anyway because they've already played an Africa animal. We just have sponsors getting X down as first move. Which also indicates another project coming out. Otherwise, I think you'd just grab a uni or partner zoo first. We do have the Africa partner zoo into build upgrade. And there's small animals for the opponent. Small animals into second worker. It's okay, it's a bit awkward because the project doesn't actually give anything instantly. It gets you closer to the 10 money, which is preferable to three card draw, although both their incomes are pretty high for round two. Uh, but taking another work is kind of slow. Okay, we have the build action. Uh, playing a sponsor for money. Sorry about the noise, this little bug flying around. Playing Foreign Institute for money. Uh, choosing not to build a kiosk as well because it kills the aviary spot and doesn't leave enough money for the Taipan. So plan is to play Taipan this round for sure. The Venom... Venom's gonna hurt. Like Double Venom early game is quite brutal. We have a cards action before building for the opponent. I do, I, I like, I understand why you, why people cards action before building. It means I don't have a playable animal. I want to see what I draw before I build, but I think just building like, even like a random size three now would be good. Or maybe they're trying to draw a sponsor before they, because they don't want to cover this. But I like just building at five and then doing cards at five. And then you see an extra card that way. Just cycles through your actions a bit better. Double Venom is annoying. Thankfully the opponent has 32 money, so they can probably afford to bleed a little bit. Choose to do the association straight away. Which is fine. They grab Asia Partner Zoo so they can place another pavilion. would suggest they have a, another Asia animal in hand, or they just wanted to draw another card before building. No hand size uni. At the same time, we're not super attached to this tiger. So curious if we'll snap or draw. We do just draw. Engineer goes, which would not have been my first choice to disappear. But I think it doesn't matter either way. Because I think the, the next action has to be break, because you, you don't want to stay in this round while your opponent has 32 money. This is just going to be the build action. They do get a sponsor. I don't know if that came from the last card draw or not, but uh, Zoo School it does get him to that 10 money. I think you could make an argument for the three card draw if there wasn't about to be a break. Ten money makes sense here. They're just covering their last kiosk, so income is going to be incredibly high after this comes down, up to 30. Thirty-one even. This is going to be break into discarding diversity research, and most likely the rare, the yeah, the rare has some extra value being America's. Climbing park still at one. At the moment. Muskrat has a 30 gold lead plus like a 10 income lead. 
The point leads about to become even because we have Habitats 5 coming in. Song Chen is also one reptile ahead. It's also the adder here. So I'm, I'm actually amazed this has not been scooped up earlier. Oh, we have the Mamba coming down for Muskrat. Equally annoying uh, getting Venomed at the start of a round, especially because Song Chen does not have a ton of money. So that is going to hurt. We do have Habitats 5 into 5 income. I do like 5 income here because I think when your opponent has such a money lead, you kind of do want to even it up a bit to give you sort of equal staying power in rounds. They do get to draw 3 cards. Hippo is a great draw. Got it. Hippo is a great draw just to like give you back an extra tempo. And you already have the Africa Partner Zoo. Africa Release gives something to do as well. And I'm still shocked the Adder is not getting drawn here. Although, nice bonus drawing into Talented Communicator with the last draw and then upgrading sponsors. So a very important note there. I think a lot of players might, me, me even included, might have even just blind upgraded like animals or something because you're getting close to five rep. Like you can build animals and you have another upgrade. But choosing to draw cards first and then upgrade is an important difference. Oh my word. An 8-point native lizards with the reptile icon coming down. Point lead, money lead, income lead, venoms. The thing that Song Chen has going for him is that he's got two partner zoos compared to one, but even that's about to be evened up in a sec. I actually have a build six into a random size three up. This is very curious to me. I think it's more, you don't want to build a, like you want to cover this last kiosk, but you don't want to build a kiosk or a size one because you already have them. So random size three pavilion and size two for the hippo does make a lot of sense. Worst case, you can put the Raya in the size three, but you We'll probably find a, an animal to fit in it. We do have Muskrat going for the two rep uni to get an upgrade. Upgrading animals. I think it does make sense when you have that much income. Uh, but I also wouldn't mind like an association upgrade. I guess X tokens would be useful, but just to like combo into getting uni and partners in the same turn seems like a pretty big deal, like saving you a lot of tempo that way. We do have the hippo coming down. Very annoying this interaction that you still have to pay Venom even though you're about to use sponsors. Now this is just going to be talented communicator. True, you could, yeah, you could definitely also argue for card upgrade for the opponent because, yeah, they do have one card. So maybe the animals is to play things from display easier as well. Anyway, they do have a cards action. Yeah, just drawing from the deck when you have one card makes sense. I don't think research is very snappable here. Both players only have one. Interesting ordering as well. Taking the hit on Venom and choosing to get hand size uni. I guess, yeah, okay, the upside is also upgrading cards before using it, so then it's not as weird, yes. Big size five coming down. Okay, the, the animal's action might be for an upgraded animal requirement like a, a dugong or something or a fur seal even would be very nice 
This is the cards action, drawing one at a time. Pretty good value expert on Australia here. Unfortunately, the Cayman is dead because we need this water spot for the eagle already. But would have been a very useful reptile tag. And finally, the adder gets drawn. Which is curious. Because sponsors is already upgraded and you need animals, it's just going to be a dead adder. Unless, unless you find the other hip hypnosis and grab the Europe partner zoo that way. But it's just a dead adder. I think, unless Waza Large is found or something to allow you to play the eagle. What is the elephant coming down? Nice value giving two pavilions as well with expert on Asia. The income lead, well, the income has evened up a lot. That was always going to happen once Song Chen built more kiosks. So now it's 40 to 33, but they're still an 18 point lead and double end games over here. Although there are some end games here, like Expert on the Americas is going to be hit, Foreign Institute is hit, Talent Communicator will be hit, so maybe it's kind of even on end games. We. Yeah, this must just be causing the break. Nice before Muskrat gets another partner zoo. Discards both the reptiles, yet yeah, we knew they both weren't playable. Display looking pretty dead for animals, so... Hmm... Actually, a, like a very dead display, right? Hydrologist is not amazing on this map. The the I guess the instant points are okay. Aquarium is just garbage on this map. Can't even be played for either player. I mean, it's, it technically can here, but then it kills the eagle spot. CK for flying muskrats. When you have three reptiles, that is that is very odd timing to me. I think in that spot I'm more focused on grabbing my last two upgrades. Uh, it is snapping. Okay, maybe I'll... God damn it. Sorry about all the clapping. Maybe also just snapping to grab like high doll just while sponsors is at five. Snapping for the extra cards is also going to be useful. The worker doesn't really matter at all. I don't think Archaeologist is very interesting anymore for either player. Do you just have uh, one of everything? Drawing side entrances, yeah, not, not fantastic. Actually, side entrance is only playable up here because you want to save the size fight. Well, I, I assume we're still going for the tiger, but it's still not playable right now, right? Also, not sure I would have built this kiosk because we are about to get a free kiosk from Expert on the Americas when the Raya comes down. So I think it might have just been a costing too money. We do have... Second uni, so finally all upgrades. Is it just going to be animals? Yeah, I think not having cards upgraded for Muskrat is, is uh, hurting a lot right now. Still like stuck on one card. And I assume it's going to be the next upgrade. Like with a partner zoo grab or something here. So kind of off timing using it before it's upgraded. We do have Songchen spending an X to draw cards before playing animals. Hmm. Maybe just hoping to draw a size one or size three. Does draw a size one. Oh, draws into a sun bear as well. Wow. 
and a size 3. And an aviary bird. That's very nice because we are going to have an aviary up here. Even the lynx is playable, but it doesn't give very good value right now. So yeah, I'm fine getting rid of that. The, uh, the card draw did pay off. We found a lot of good stuff there. We do have size 4 and pavilion coming down for muskrat. Clevering down sponsors, yet yeah, getting cards higher. Still a 23 point lead. Okay, let's see what animals. Raya drawing first. Draws into a size 3 reptile. Oh yeah, forgot to mention this is also a reptile, so wow. A absolutely perfect draws. Uh, is a wasted kiosk though, so yeah, we did waste two money earlier up here. This is a this is a very clutch draw. Being able to get four reptiles here. The way I see it is the next like four animals are set in stone, like one, two, three, four. I don't know that we need the tiger anymore, but we also did just find two ages to make it playable as well. to have uni coming down into cards upgrade. Expo in Australia coming down. Getting rid of Africa release. The hippo release isn't the greatest. Oh yeah, we also found more rocks for climbing park. That's very nice. Uh, this is still an aviary spot here. But I think aviary spot on this map normally goes here, touching rock and water, and then if for some reason you need like the double water, like for a dugong or something, then the aviary spot can go here with touching rock but not water. So I think this spot is fine for the aviary. And yeah, especially with the eagle, it 100% it needs to be here next to water. Ah, oh, yeah, we did have Expert on Australia coming down. Let's see what animals... Okay, yeah, I assume we're keep, keeping Climbing Park here. Just Raccoon. Not for lack of money either, so it tells us there are very few playable animals here. Boosting a SOS is fine, but I I think it's just going to be to grab it the partners for the last upgrade. Aviary does come down. <laughs> it is partner zoo. Africa Africa is interesting. What can we read into Africa partner zoo? We know Europe's kind of dead because we saw the hypnosis snake go. So yeah, why not Africa, I guess? Would tell us that they have an Africa animal in hand. Maybe they have a like reptile breeding program. We are leeching off small animals here. Into size 2 bonus. We've been playing side entrance from hand with the 8 CP bonus. And taking size 2. Building it here to clever down cards is nice. We're in a very awkward spot. With side entrance coming down, it does give a, like a bit of extra income. I guess four, four, 5 extra income actually is pretty pretty nice for 3 money spent. But you could equally just take five. I think now it's sort of like a tricky position where you want to fill your map. 
but it's still kind of tricky with these one spots. Cards action for, cards action for the opponent. That does save Song Chen an, an X token. Guaranteed, yeah, they, they were they were gonna cause the break anyway. Actually ahead in income as well now. Yeah, we have a lot of like the next all all the animals are sorted. Size two. Yeah, I think with this hand, Song Chen 100% wants another break. Uh, Flying Muskrat probably doesn't need another break to end the game. Although it's not clear which big project is coming out. Unless there's something like a, a Rhino coming. Also not sure about the Archaeologist snap. I think denying the Kookaburra would be a better move. Even though it's not playable, it's very cheap 5 appeal. Okay, double size fours, drawing randomly, pavilion. This map seems like it's going to be filled. Well, the thing is, Song Chen, I don't think, can afford all these animals. Like, these three are 53 already, plus you want the, the monitor, which is 78 total. Plus you need to build us uh, no sorry, you have the enclosures for all these guys. Uh, but yeah, if if these four want to get played, I guess you could ignore the vulture, then these are playable, but then one an one animal's action is only one animal, which is not great. Vulture coming down first makes sense. Well actually hits King Vulture as well. Amazing with the aviary. Draws the Kookaburra, yeah, good value. Gold monitor just to support four reptiles. And the pouching is nice with all these extra cards coming from scavenging. Yeah, these size fours plus the Africa does sort of say Rhino. Rhino into species would be a would be a, like a very hard move to come back from. Tech Institute's a fine sponsor to play because it gives an X token. Like um, Archaeologist would have been fine as well, I guess, because you're almost guaranteed to the end game on it. Tech Institute, not so much. We do have size 5 coming down, so the plan is to still play the Tiger. It's obviously calculated that there is enough time to do all this. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be Reptiles 4 into 3x tokens, because you really need to cause the break here. Uh, can always play Sun Bear, but finishing the game without playing your Eagle would be very disastrous. But it also means that the map is not fillable anymore with four different one sizes. America's partner suit. America's partner suit is a very, very odd move at this stage. It's nice getting the extra worker. Like that, that is two CP by itself. So I guess there's just a lack of projects, but there's still ha habitats. Habitats are two to go for. And there's still, no, not Asia. Uh, this is reptiles into the X tokens. We have 
Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Giant tortoise coming down. That is that is the kind of animal that you want to see at this stage of the game. I thought so too that it was fillable with the expert on the Americas, but you just you can't. Like a kiosk can go up here, but a kiosk can't go in any of these other ones uh, spots, which means it takes still two build actions to fill up. Because normally your three one size buildings are kiosk pavilion one size, but you can't place a second kiosk down. Wow, this could be like the perfect two animals to come out. Peafell as well actually fills up the map because of Expert on Asia. For Muskrat here. Plus getting the reputation on the map from covering it. And now you just support a project size 2 map filled. I guess it was uh, very well calculated with the Tech Institute coming down because there's like perfect amount of X tokens to finish the game next turn. So yeah, this forces break 9 uh, from Song Chen, which is not ideal because animals like association is stuck at 1. Uh, I don't know that we have a project to do either though. I guess it could be Asia. Oh, it could also be Reptile Release. Animals times two with badgers is is, uh, is an interesting play. I mean, you can actually still do animals too. We have the final move here. Going to be low mountain range actually. Was calculating this. It is straight up less points than the habitats. You're gaining plus 5 instead of plus 6. So it only makes sense if one of the end goals is favourite, so for the extra reputation. So we can assume, playing Muskrat's a strong player, we can assume that they have favourite zoo and it's maxed out, so that's even scarier. This is going to be size 2 to fill up the map. Kind of sad not getting pouching, but filling up map is better. Donating to cross. And what on earth do we do here with Association at 2? Thankfully with 92 money and Avery spaces we can play four of these guys for sure. This is, this is beautifully calculated by the way. Spending an X token here, getting it back. Eagle first. Yeah, Chaos comes down but doesn't matter. Eagle into Sunbear. Sunbear into 2 rep to get the extra CP here as well as just move animals forward again. So that's why doing animals at 5 mattered before. And then animals at 3. Tiger is playable and I guess King Vulture. King Vulture first but I, you're never going to find it anything better than the Tiger here to play. And this is a close finish because we have to remember Song Chen's endgame is Climbing Park for two. Although there are some points here, uh, one, two, three. So there's like five endgames coming in. The opponent has Hydrologist done, plus they have Elephant endgame as well. And we know one of them is Favorite Zoo. So nine point lead, but double endgames. 126. Conservation and favorite. If it had been... I think there, there were a couple of other end games. Uh, were there actually? Maybe conservation was... No, it's, of course. Architectural would have been the, the best. 
for flying muskrat architecture would have won, but diverse species wouldn't have, aquatic climbing park research wouldn't have. So I I guess a bit lucky that it wasn't architectural. Was well, sort of looking that way with uh, the, that is that is a lot of pavilions. Well, I think very impressive to come back from such a deficit early. There was always going to be amazing late game turn with Eagle plus Sun Bear, but like personally, I would not have held on to the Tiger for that long. I don't think. And it, it paid off big time, like causing the last break and just having these big animals to play. Also, like we're, we're not going to lie, quite lucky drawing into Vulture 1, Vulture 2, uh, like Vulture and Sunbear to make the Tiger playable. There was definitely some luck here. But yeah, nicely calculated. Breaking 9 is a move that I think a lot of players would have been scared to do in that position, but it was absolutely needed because the game was about to end that turn. <laughs> no pavilion endgame card. Just want to point out, this is like a fish of pavilions, like a little fish here. That's cool. Sure, the, the out for Song Chen was just playing all of these big animals. I think also Clutch getting the fourth reptile with like a like a size three reptile, especially when there's already a random size three here. Beautiful. Taking X tokens very wise as well. Would have been very tempting to take pouching or worker. Like for the extra worker is extra six, pouching is going to be an extra lot. But yeah, X token is very responsible decision there. Go arena. No, we're not playing arena today. We're looking at two replays today. This second game is between... Dwarven Time and BDW, so current ranks 2 and 3 in Arena. Both are one point away from each other, actually. We're going to look at this from BDW's perspective. Projects are Primates, Australia, and Birds. End goals are Architectural and Climbing. Architectural can be okay on silver like i don't love it like this extra money does let you build a lot like a lot more earlier in the game it's still kind of awkward to fill anyway we had we do have some good cards here dare i say this is an emu game with australia and birds being here plus an eagle gives you reason to want an, an aviary asia aquarium also amazing animals like, I'm very tempted by these four. The issue is not having a playable animal, so I fear that the emu's not going to get picked and it might just be like one of these two, Fox or Martin. Yeah, I will point out this is just a friendly game, so there was no arena rating on the line, which means maybe emu... Oh, he's done it! Oh, I'm so proud of him. I think instantly punished though, because there's like, there's literally no playable animal on display here. Farm animals also not great on this map, just because it's so sort of narrow around here. There are, there really aren't that many edge spaces to get points from native farm animals. So it's one I avoid on this map. Dwarven time is first player. Just starting with Europe partners who are interesting. I am very happy to see this emu. Is this just going to be... Yeah, it is. What a Chad. Size 5. I don't know what his plan is, though. Like, you start Australia Partners and Prey? Just drawing from the deck, which I agree with. Nothing is snappable at all here. Oh, okay, no, that makes sense. You want to aquarium down. 
I was going to say hand size looks interesting because these two are not playable early, but yeah. Uh, two rep makes sense to get Aquarium down. I'm excited to see where this icon is going to come from. We have a size 5 coming down for Dwarven time as well. Uh, oh, okay. It's signaling a Bison here, I guess. Or bison or a Stork into release of some kind. Bison not going to give great value. Oh, wow. This seems ultra greedy to me. If this is a break here, what do you even get rid of? Oh, it's polar bear exhibit though. Okay. I think a bit saved. I, I don't know what you'd discard here. Like, I think if there's a break, King Bolt just goes instantly. Polar bear exhibit. This is the problem with not having hand size. Like, there's so many late game cards here. You kind of want to play both of these, but I don't think both are going to come down. Like, there's no way they're both going to come down. So we might be like foregoing expert on Asia. Interesting. Not playing the... This is bizarre. I... Is this like, is this a bluff? I understand the random size four. Maybe threatening, like, I have a pelican or something. Sort of like mind games, but this is a lot of money spent on enclosures for not a lot of reward. And we have mirroring here, another enclosure. Card 3 is a disgusting action to be taking at this stage of the game. I think rewarded extremely well, though, finding the cougar. Like, while the break is on 6 out of 9, just being able to jump. Okay, we do have the animal. Okay, this could be for the eagle into a rhino later, <laughs> I guess. Or oh, it is going to be stork. Stork into sloth bear, wow. Sloth bear with polar bear exhibit. And there's a, there's a university on 5 and a partner's on 8. Wow. So, like, the only reason you play a Stork into a size 5 this early is if you're going to release it. So, guaranteed Stork release coming. Cougar leaves sort of no project here. And now we're in this position. What gets discarded? Like, for me, I'm getting rid of King Vulture, but I don't think it's happening. No, he is Birdman today. Oh my god. Has he been rewarded here? This is actually the perfect animal, so I think Dwarven Time has to snap this up instantly. It is low mountain range. Like the double water icon with the aquarium as well. Oh no. Into sponsor upgrade. Oh, and this uni is disgusting as well. This is a, a uni block. Wow. Does take snapping. Uni blocking is particularly rough right now. I guess on Silver Lake you don't mind getting a third uni, so the answer might just be two science uni. I think you do need an upgrade. Yeah, it is build. I don't know what, what we're building for, though. Oh, this is going to be the straight-up basic research for 2 CP, getting closer to the partner zoo. Okay. There's a big point lead here. Have a bit of building going on. Okay, this does put the Tamarin in range, which is nice. So that, that, is a, that, that is a playable animal. 
Also grabbing native farm. Okay, interesting. How many points are we looking at? Four? Four point native farm? Maybe some endgame? Although our endgame is architectural. Oh, now the pelican shows up as well. So Dwarven Time 100% has to deny this for the double water icon, but then also the fact that it's Bird and Australia means it's just a good snap anyway. <laughs> we have so many birds coming out. Native farm does come down just for four. And I think we should be looking to snap the Wombat here because that gives us the much needed Australia icon. Okay, we just have a size 2 over the rep to get association upgrade. Wow. The uh, association sponsor combo 1 and 2. I guess very useful here to donate so you get this. At the same time, BDW is a long way away from 8. But there is value in getting this uh, earlier rather than later. Tamron comes down. <laughs> True, could be. Uh, we could have herb herbivore release coming, but Dugong is just amazing for the double Australia icon. Like the way I see this match, BDW has actually got a nice income lead and points are kind of level but is kind of behind in upgrades just from the fact that there's about to be a partner here. But yeah, the way I see this match is that Dwarven Time probably wins Australia 5 just from having the Dugong, but it's very expensive to play. Maybe I would rather have Aquarium. Now is this... Yeah, I think it has to be Wombat. No hand size still, so maybe the Vulture is about to die as well. Tech Institute is very nice for Dwarven Time. Oh no, sorry, the Wombat is actually playable with uh, the two money here. And can still build a Kiosk and Pavilion over the money as well. Okay, that's very nice. No break for one turn at least. He's just going to play the Wombat. Definitely don't pouch here. Now this game's turned very interesting. It kind of looks like BDW is actually ahead. Like the hand is good as well. But given the start that Dwarven Time had, I would not expect that at all. Expert on the Americas coming down. Okay. Kind of weird chaos placement. I guess the max you can get is only one. From this action, but... Okay, it does give two money as well. This is just going to be the break here. Now BDW like desperately wants the Australia partner zoo, but well, I have a feeling it's going to get taken first action. Oh wow, Sun Bear as well. And Dwarven Time has snapping, but takes Waza Large? Okay, Waza Large is great value with like Juong Ju and Pelican, I guess. Leaving Sun Bear though. Oof. Right, may maybe there is a way to get. Well, you definitely don't spend three X's to do it. Okay, this is just going to be second uni. Yeah, well, I mean, that makes sense. Donate to get Partner Zoo here. It is Australia as well. That's, that's unfortunate. Amy is going to have to wait. Ok, 
going to be third uni. Okay. Makes sense. Does give another upgrade instantly. Cards. Sunbear's still not in range though. Dwarven time spending two axes to play Waza large, we assume. Oh. This is a, uh, this is bizarre. Free range monkeys is five instant appeal. You have to spend two X tokens to do it. And you lose tempo on the sun bear. You actually put the sun bear in cards range. Sun bear has slightly worse value for BDW because of polar bear exhibit here. But it just means it's even better for Dwarven Time. And Australia releases would be very annoying for BDW to see as well. But I think while Sunbear's in range, you just have to leave Australia release. Get the Sunbear. Vulture as well is a nice draw while it's here. Display doesn't refresh, but... Uh, Australia release is down here right now. Okay, we do have Pelican into a full strength 5 build. Actually, Animals hasn't been upgraded. I think, yeah, that's also a large reason why Dwarven Times like focused on getting Waza large, because it means you like don't need the Animals upgrade to play the Dugong. So I think that's a large reason why it was such a high priority snap. <laughs> I mean, I, I understand the logic behind every move so far, I guess. It's just a bit... Like, you have a lot of room to play like this when there's not raiding on the line. Yeah, we do have low mount, uh, blue mountains getting drawn from range, even though it doesn't look like it here. But yes, it was in range. <laughs> Expert on Australia as well showing up. Not in range for either player, thankfully. Just gonna see a relatively normal build action. Just a bit of everything. Clevering down what? Clevering down animals, yeah, okay. There are actually no playable animals here. Drawing Secretary Bird away. Yeah, what I'm seeing from BW side of the map is a lot of enclosures and not a lot of animals being played, but still has an income lead. <sighs> Aquatic is kind of interesting for both players as well right now. I think Expert on Australia has too much value that you can't let Dwarven Time snap it here. And Panda should probably, oof, I don't know, this is a tough one. You want the Asia partner zoo for Sun Bear, but at the same time it's worse because of the Polar Bear exhibit. And, well, there's already herbivores. There's just so many animals here to play. So this is just going to be the break from Dwarven Time. Probably going to snap up Aquatic, I guess. Primates is a project, so... There is some merit to keeping the monkey park, but I think it can go... I don't know. Get rid of the panda and... Oh, our sun bear dies as well. I guess how many extra actions do you actually need? Because this, this could definitely be a zero partner zoo game for BDW. I guess primate breeding not amazing because there's only... Europe and Australia here, which have no primates and there's no partner zoos here. Although, I'm a little surprised that Asia release wasn't taken because I'm pretty sure that BDW drew the vulture from, from range. Okay, we do have... Yeah, okay, we actually need this for our, the emu. Oh yeah, we have an aviary spot here, that's nice. This is Pelican release. K 
keeping architectural makes sense because we have a free aviary coming in, so the map's actually getting close to full. Donating as well. Hmm. We have animals at three. Some extra value playing emu before expert on Australia, but losing out on the rep. Hmm. This is a this is a very cool emu though. Like, okay, we, we're playing the emu to play the vulture immediately, and then it gives us a card to pouch for expert on Australia. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Maybe Pelican comes back. Oh, Sun Bear comes back. Still not keeping it though yet. Okay, Bird of Paradise makes sense. It's actually the fifth Australia icon. Pretty clutch. Actually, how did this get in the discard pile in the first place? What? Dwarven Time start was Polar Bear Exhibit Sloth Bear. White Stalk Europe release? Over, yeah, okay, I guess over Lesser Bird of Paradise. Wow. This is going to be Waza Large. Kind of indicates that the Dugong wants to come out next. So this will allow it to be played without the animals upgrade. Now I suppose needing to draw cards to Pouch, or maybe just deny the Dingo, honestly. Okay, no, deny... Oh, taking Asia release, yeah, that is important. We have... This is bizarre to me. How many enclosures does Dwarven Time need? Two size twos, a size four, two size five, and still building before animals. Just to take the badger. Okay, we wanted to cover this to play native lizards for money. That's a nice seven point native lizards. Herbivore breeding, interesting for both players. Oh, this is just break seven. I don't think Dwarven Time mines too much, probably wants to play two animals anyway. The extra money will help. But nice breaking before the extra income comes in. Snap of the Dingo. Yeah, Dingo actually has good value. Australia Icon plus some pack synergy. Rhino should be very interesting for Dwarven Time. Oh wow, sea lion coming down first. Into dingo. I think Jugong is still... Oh wow, it's going to be a really close race. Actually, I think Dwarven Time wins Australia 5, right? Or maybe not. Yeah, Expert comes down. Don't pouch anything again. Pavilion just to help fill the map for Architectural. Oh, this card's action. This feels like a very greedy card's action. Like, I think you have to slam out the... I don't remember how much it costs. I think with the discount, though, it costs 17. I think you have to slam out the Dugong here. Australia 5 is a very important race. Kind of like guessing that BDW doesn't have an Australia icon, but it's, it's very risky. It costs 19 with partner. Oh, that is unfortunate then. Okay, so it's not affordable. Well, then you could have also sold extra cars with Sea Lion to make it happen. So what it's telling me is that this hand is stacked. No, actually, we just drew some cards. Interesting. 
Okay, we have Bird of Paradise coming down, not spending an X token. So X token at this stage, more valuable than one rep. I can definitely see that. Bird of Paradise also going to help fill the map. Oh no! This is just the wrong... No, okay, you, you need the... Okay, it's going to say wrong order, you play this first to pouch, but uh, this was needed to play before this because of requirements. Wow, Pelican comes back. I think the more responsible play is to keep the Badger though. <laughs> I guess not. Actually, this has this is very nice with Aquarium, and you can still build a size 4 here. I was just thinking there's not a lot of time left in the game. Dwarven Time's actually stalling a bit. There's a lot of money left over and enclosures, I guess. What did they take? 12 money? But there's going to be Australia 5 and Birds 5 coming in for BDW here. So I think you... Yeah, this is, well, very rare. Taking 3x tokens as a first project reward. Like, the map's nearly full and this is first project. Getting this extra money boost is nice. Yeah, there is not a lot of time left in this game. Archaeologist plus victory column. Okay. Oh yeah, that's, that's kind of cute. You play victory column here, you get your X tokens back instantly. Or you even use it to clever down build. <laughs> Jordan Time loves doing that. Oh, Orny. Just saving an X, yeah, saving a few X tokens here. Hmm. Herbivore breeding. That's a weird pick, right? Because I assumed the last two projects would be Birds 5 into Asia release. And you don't need to deny it because it's falling off the... Oh no, sorry, it's not the break yet. Okay, it's just to deny it. Yeah, Dwarven Time was kind of signalling that they have no projects with uh, Supporting Australia 2 there. We do have Dugong coming down. Does indeed cost 19, thank you. But that's it though. Oh, this is nice, yeah, nice little build for action. Third uni for Dwarven time, okay. Not donating, so clearly has an animal left to play. That's a very odd amount to break. It must be money calculations. That's 55. You need 33 here plus 2. Oh, you're getting an X token anyway from covering this, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, BDW's plan is definitely to fill the map with the Pelican, the, the free action from the Pelican, so I, I like leaving the little two spots there. Just saves X tokens. I, I wonder if Dwarven Time is expecting the Pelican to come back. This kind of signals that it is here. Adventure Playground. Adventure Playground is something to do because you need to, to have an action first and then you can associate 
for five. So we might just see Adventure Playground here first up. Well, it is just straight up Hydrologist. Okay. Oh, Endgame not meant for Hydrologist. Still five instant appeal. Yeah, there is there is a lot of end games here, right? Actually, it's there. Tech Institute. Maybe Victory Column. There's a lot of sponsors, but not a lot of end games. Over here, there is none either, though. All right, we have Eagle. Eagle Pelican. So you do the association first. Oh, it's annoying though, only having two workers. So you can actually only do birds and then... I don't know what the last action is going to be. Playing the, the deer, I guess, or playing the... No, can't afford the rhino. Hmm. Chaos, because why not? And now last action of animal. I guess just Taipan is best value because you get the pouching as well. Or maybe equal to equal to PFAL, I guess. Oh, I'm completely mistaken. This is uh this is last aquarium icon, this is better. This is plus nine instead of this, which is plus seven. Alright, well calculated there. Is it enough though? We do have a maxed out endgame of architectural. And there is not a lot of endgames here. So we're going to see... I don't know what project we're going to see. Oh yeah, we did see aquatic goat. So it is a maxed out aquatic. Into extra action being animals. Well, animal. This is the awkward thing about not upgrading animals. This is only going to be one animal. Could probably have afforded another as well. Only only one pouching though. Still has a point lead going to the final count. Hmm. Tech Institute and Aquatic. It's not enough. Oh, it is enough. Victory column. <laughs> Oh, it's the victory column win. That is like the worst and best feeling in the world. Like because it counts up all your score and you see like your opponent overtake you. But then victory column comes out as the last scoring thing. Wow. Very clutch. Two victory column points there. Close game. What a very weird start. I was extremely scared for BDW with like the size 5 into the size 4. Drawing, like, randomly drawing the Cougar did help a lot. It just shows, like, it doesn't need to be shown more, but how scary the uh, aquarium is. Like, even though Jugong and Pelican got denied, still managed to find a way to 6 water. And it gave a lot of extra points. Having said that, Dwarven Time still won though. They did have a great start with White Stalk into Low Mountain range. The free range Monkey World was, uh, move was wild to me. Five appeal, no end game. It cost two X tokens as well and sort of hurt tempo not getting Waza Large out. Like I was almost sure it was going to be Waza Large into drawing the Sun Bear. Not sure he would have won if it was last season's victory column. I was a bit dubious on victory column coming down in the first place. 
it came down at the same time as Archaeologist. So I guess it was like spending 2x tokens to get them back instantly and then you just play Victory Column for free. So I guess like it didn't hurt. Oh, Endgame here was Aquatic. Oh wow, still getting 5. So it means the actual like Jugong and Pelican snaps were 100% worth it for a Dwarven time. The, the, the victory column clutch win is, is a great feeling. I think I've won with that way twice. I don't think I've lost to it yet though. I imagine when you lose to it, it's going to feel pretty damn bad. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was an epic. We have BDW here with the only with the one partner who emu start from first hand. Dwarven time getting all upgrades, but also upgrading sponsors and a source. So the the key trigger for not upgrading animals was the Waza large, which allowed the Jugong to be played. True, yeah. BDW could have definitely delayed that by taking a worker because he, he did end with uh, like Asia release is a great project to end on. So I think that might have been the smarter play. What was the extra action? The extra action was playing just Pond Turtle. I think the I think the problem is with uh, birds he was crossing anyway. Don't remember exactly. I guess you could have released first because we do have six birds down here. Might have also been a problem of not having enough X tokens. Uh, I did spend some on animals though. I don't know. Seeing it was, it was, as it was friendly mode, I don't think either one of them cared too much. And this was a game that Dwarven Time played on stream. I didn't watch it live, but I did watch the replays so here. Yeah. Very cool game. You can watch it from Dwarven Time's perspective. There is a VOD on his Twitch. Way too many bagels. But otherwise, I think we're done for tonight. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look at the arena rankings as they stand. Yeah, still the same. 2,115, it's like a 70s or 69, 70 point lead is, is a lot. I was up here a couple of days ago, but basically from this position, I had to win 19 out of 20 games and that put me like into third, but then it only takes three losses, two or three losses to get you back all the way down here. So that's why I'm saying it's extremely hard to climb up here. Like literally had to win 95% of games against some very strong players as well, just to be put in third place. So the climb for these two is like a similar amount of wins. It's, it's very daunting. There's still enough time to do it. So good luck to everyone. Yeah, we'll call it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good rest of the day and see you next time.